we've we've won the last five matches, but uh, that is expected for a club like Simba. Um, we put that pressure on ourselves to to try to win every match, and uh, it will be no different. We know the the level of uh, the tournament is, is different to the the Premier League, and we know we have to step up a gear, uh, and that is expected. That is what we've been preparing the players for. Uh, the good thing is we have a very tough test in the prelims against Al Ahly Tripoli, and uh, we managed to to overcome that. And that was a good experience for the players. We know our players are, are on the younger side, or on the inexperienced side in relation to a tournament like this. Not many of them have the experience of playing in Champions League or playing in CAF Confederations Cup. There are a few, like Che Maloney, that have the experience, but there are a lot of them that have not really experienced a competition like this. So. Uh, immediately after the game uh, against uh, Pamba, it was the uh, was the focus switch uh, to to prepare for CAF because the the matches in CAF are, are completely different to the to the Premier League. And, uh, there are little details, there are, are mechanisms that we have to put in place and switch our mindset to CAF. And uh, we are fully prepared. Uh, you can only prepare the players uh, for what's to come, like when we face Al Ahly Tripoli away, like when we face them at home. But really, having the experience of playing matches like those will give our players. Uh, uh, the comfort of knowing what to expect. A really tough match and we have to do everything perfect uh, to be able to get the three points. Okay. It's not always easy to, to just say we're going to play an attacking game and uh, we really have to do everything right in terms of uh, when we have the ball. Uh, to try to force them uh, into a low block. Uh, most teams, when they come to Benjamin Kappa, they adopt a, a medium uh, block. Uh, we're not sure if they will perhaps try to, to press us. Uh, those are the things we have to be prepared for. Uh, but to impose our game uh, to the opponent, uh, uh, knowing that perhaps they will uh, employ this medium block, we have to try to force them deeper. We have to try to play the match in the opponent's half, in, in our final or third uh, and try to keep them uh, back uh, very important again in, in matches like these or uh, your transitions uh, we should not allow them any uh, transition so having our rest defense really clear having our mechanisms in place when we are attacking not to concede these counter attacks is very very important uh, but of course uh, it can be a game that will be 50-50 as well and when we don't have the ball we have to respect them we have to close the spaces where they are very effective and we have to force them into spaces where we know we can regain the ball and, and regain our dominance. And of course you want to, to play the game with the ball, uh, but you know it's not always possible when you're playing a very tough opponent. Uh, but if we apply ourselves, if we execute the game plan, uh, we should be able to, to have the dominance in terms of possession. Uh, but like I said, uh, we respect the opponent and anything is possible. Uh, it's, uh, if our players are ready mentally to be able to sustain this uh, uh, level of opponent, uh, then we will be able to execute our game plan. Then we will be able to more than likely get the three points. Yeah, we, we, we analyzed them in detail and they had, they had different matches in the league, they had different matches uh, in, the, in the prelims. And uh, they adopt different approaches uh, in all of the matches. They are quite flexible team tactically. They are able to play different formations and we've seen them play in, in different formations before with different type of profiles, for instance playing at fullback, different type of profiles uh, playing on the, in the midfield side. And then of course they always, uh, on, in any formation they play, they're very skillful wingers that uh, can cause you problem if you don't contain them. And uh, they are a team that is difficult to beat, uh, and we have to be on top of our game. We have to, to be, uh, like I said, we need the perfect performance uh, to be able to score goals, to be able to, to create chances, and to be able to, to have the dominance that we would like to have. Uh, but to be able to do that, we have to really be, do everything in an almost perfect manner. And uh, we expect that from our players in every match, and it will be no different this match.
Ioma. My question is, playing all your games in the Premier League schedule and uh, some friendly matches, have you already get uh, what you want or what you aiming for toward this uh, game against FC Brothers? Yeah, we've analyzed them in detail like we do opponents and uh, uh, they're a very good side, a, a physical side that uh, has a profile of, of players with, uh, with size, uh, especially in the up front where they have two options in Paciencia and uh, Edmonds. Uh, they've played with both of them as a double striker, they've, they've played one of them up front uh, as well. We've got to be wary of um, we've got to impose our men. Uh, we are at home and with our fans behind us, we expect to uh, take the game to the opponent. We expect our team to dictate the tempo of the game. Um, while respecting strengths, while planning for where we want to play the match, to our attack and of course uh, when we do not have the ball, give them the respect and, and force them into areas where we want them to play. Uh, but a, a match definitely where it's expected for us to get the three points and we know in relation to the opponent's strength this won't be easy. But if we apply our, our plan, if we apply our, our uh, preparation and execute it the way we want, uh, I'm sure we'll be able to um, we do what is expected and, and get the three points in the first match. Okay, can we have uh, another question for the coach? Good morning, uh, members of the media. Uh, I think our preparations have gone well. Uh, we just come off uh, traveling to Mwanza. Uh, we've had four days to prepare. And of course, uh, in the first part of the FIFA break already, we were thinking about Bravos because that was our next match planned uh, until the Pamba game came into question. We are focused changed and uh, right now we have a match day minus one session left and uh, finer details of, of our preparations in relation to set pieces, in relation to our attacking structure. Uh, what we'll touch on and uh, so far I think uh, we're ready very tough in the first match for our fans for, for the club to start uh, we can definitely expect an, 